couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video we're gonna learn a Travis picking arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of the Beatles' Lady Madonna. First I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down with tabs right here on the screen. Note by note I'm gonna show you what to pick, how to do this. This is really simple and when you add Travis picking to it, it makes for a really really good Travis picking practice song. So it goes like this, enjoy. So before we even start learning this arrangement, I want you to recognize the beauty and the pure genius of the melody here. We move between three types of A chord here. We play A minor, A major, and A5, okay, all within the same lick. So we start with one, two on the second string, and then one pull off to zero, same string, and then two on the third string. Okay, and our Harmony being the fifth string and two on the D string, okay, where in A minor, A major, and A5, it's the same two bass notes. Okay, but let's leave the bass notes for now. Then we get three different A harmonies, A minor, A major, and A5. And that's really, really genius. Okay, it's, it takes real genius to pull this off. So, and now, we're in A, so the bass note is A. Okay? Then we play the same lick, but with a different timing. Okay? Exactly the same lick, just without the waiting in the middle. And then we play the same lick again, and then 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two on the third string. Then we play three more twos on the uh, third string, but with three different bass notes. The first one is with F, so it's one on the sixth string. The second one is with G, so it's with three on the, uh, the sixth string. And the third one is with A again. So we're back to A5, or to A, actually. Um, and if you're daring enough, then play A minor there, but it's supposed to be a major. So uh, when you play it with Travis Becking, it's this. Okay? The D string is always your alternating bass note. Okay? So uh, now with harmonies. Uh, I'm gonna harmonize with the third string. Okay, this is the intro. It's pretty simple, but it's really, really, really cool. Then the verse starts the same way. You have the, the same licks to begin with. And then, then the third lick is different. You start the same way, one, two on the second string, and then zero, zero, two, zero on the E string, so it's... And then you put an A chord on and you play two on the second string, two on the third, so it's... Okay? And then you have the same ending, 
A with F and G, and then when you're back to A, you play A minor. You play one on the second string and then two on the third. So it's A, it's with F, G, and A. But this time, instead of ending on A major, you end on A minor and you play second string, then third. So. And that's your verse. And then... Okay? Then you have the chorus. The chorus starts with D minor. And instead of putting the first finger on the first string, put it on the second string on one. Because the melody is three one three one three one three one on the second string, and your bass notes are D and G strings. So okay? with a slight difference in rhythm at the end there. Okay? You can hammer it on. Okay? For variation and also for practice. And then it's three again on the second string and you play the G bass string afterwards, three on the bass. Okay, and then the open, set, uh, the open third string. So it's three on the second, open third. So. And then you have C. And the melody here is one, 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 hammer on to three on the second string, then the open E string, and then A5. And it's this. And then, okay, two, two, and zero on strings three, four, and five. Okay, C is Travis picking all the way, so. And then, then you have this. It's uh, two, three on the fifth string and two on the D string with two on the third string after each note. Okay, and this leads us back to D minor. Okay, you play the D minor G line again, and then you have C, okay, full chord, D, Okay, full chord, you can play it twice, or you can play it once and then add two on the E string again, and then E7, you can play the whole chord, or you can play uh, just strings one, two, three, and six. Just don't forget three on the second string for the seventh note. And then you just go back to the verse or the intro or everything again and just repeat it as a practicing routine. So that's the chorus, D minor. G, C, A5, and then again, D minor G, then C, D, E7, and then back to the verse. And uh, this concludes the lesson. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you a lot of fun practicing this. But before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons waiting for you already, over 300 lessons, and I upload the new one regularly. So click subscribe and become a member of the Lick and Ref community. Don't forget to spread the word about Lick and Ref and share this lesson with whomever you uh, think will enjoy it. And go download the tab. The link is right below in the description. It's for free. Everything is for free right here on Lick and Ref. But if you want to give something back anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. It's large, it's oval, it's blue, it says donate, you can't miss it. And everything you choose to donate comes right back into your guitar education, into Lick and Riff, into producing these lessons. So I thank you very much in uh, advance for your donations and for your generosity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now, enjoy, have fun.